to, to go out there and, and get it done. Now, one thing to point out is the tremendous play of Braden Holtby. He's just been awesome. He stopped 33 of 35 shots in game two, so hopefully he'll be able to keep them in this game tonight in game three. We do have to switch gears because the Redskins, they have some big news today. They did release veteran cornerback Chris Culver, and it really makes sense that they made this move given that the draft was this week over the past few days. Scott McLuhan held a press conference at Redskins Park this afternoon to evaluate his seven new players from the draft. The one thing that I really, really respect about the guys we took, tough guys. Tough guys are going to battle, you know. Each day they come out here on the practice field and battle. And that's what I want, you know. And But I also, like I said, I want high character. I want them to understand, listen, it's not about me, it's about us. Back out here live at Console Energy Center right before game three. I have a Twitter poll asking who do you think will win game three and 58% so far say the Capitals. It's optimistic, but I like it. What do you guys think back in the studio? Here's hoping. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Here's hoping they're right. All right, thanks, Aaron. We'll go with the crowd. All right, quick look at some of the heavy rain getting ready, moving in the metro area. Burke right now to the north to Reston, moving towards the metro area. A lot of lightning, severe thunderstorm warning in effect for another 20 or 30 minutes. Within this storm cell, there's some hail, and some of the hail pretty impressive, over an inch in diameter. We'll All be right. here, and uh, Steve Rude and I have more for you coming up shortly. Take care. All right. World News Tonight with David Muir is coming up next. We'll see you back here at 11. You deserve a local news team that can keep up and keep at it. Getting you up to speed on your time. News Channel 8 at 10, powered by ABC7 News. Did you know 